What is that? It's juice. That we all get to try? We get to try it? Strawberry cornbread pudding. That sounds weird. Hey, what's going on everybody? Caleb back with reviews. I guess sir. Ooh. And we are at a new angle. As you can see, we are behind the counter because this is my first day of work. Shh. So what do we got on the chopping block today? We are back with the newest installment of Kenny's collection with the Polar Kit by Vaporesso. Now this kit comes with your Polar Mod and a Cascade Baby SE tank. And I've already done somewhat of a review over that. If you missed it, I will put it up right over there. Let me see, this is flipped. So yes, right over there. And it, it's a Cascade Baby SE one, it's, it's a stick mod. Um, my thoughts over the tank will be in that video, but without further ado, let's dive down and let's take a look at the Vaporesso Polar Kit. All right, we are down close and personal with the Polar Kit. All right, this is how your box is gonna come. Vaporesso, always love the Vaporesso logo, even though that has nothing to do with their actual products. Instant satisfaction on the side. Little list. All the features of the mod. I like the 2.5 amp quick charging, but I really don't like the fact that they're promoting to charge it through the port. Guys, if you don't know, do not charge your mod through the port if you can avoid it. It's hard on the batteries and it's also hard on your chip. It might cause issues. Um, they're promoting mesh coil built in, but we'll get over that in just a second. Why I don't think that, that was a good thing to promote. On the back, we've got some specifications, all the stuff it comes with, UPC, batch number. I like the fact that they've got a batch number. Social medias and then keep out of the reach of miners. Very good. On this side, your little pull ribbon, nothing special. Instant satisfaction and vaporizo. All right, let's open her up and I'll show you what the packaging looks like. Vaporizo right here. I like this little booklet. Say hello to the future. Okay, this is just your peripherals, stuff like that. User manual, charging cable, extra documentation. We don't really need to go over that. Let's pull this open. And this is where your mod and your Cascade Baby SE will come. Let's look at the mod real quick, up close and personal. There you go. Give you a little look-see real quick. Vaporesso on the back. I don't hate this. I'm, li I'm liking that it's not textured, so it's not gross. And yeah, there you go. Here's your first look real quick. We'll go over the mod in more detail in just a second. Let's go over the other stuff in here real quick. You have your Cascade Baby SE. Go over that soon. O-rings and an extra glass and an extra quad coil. Now I've gone over my thoughts and opinions on the Cascade Baby SE in the past. But let me show y'all something just real quick. Let me open this up. I just need to show you the coil. Okay, so this is their mesh coil, which I'm, I'm, I was digging the fact that it had a mesh coil in it, and then I saw that. That is a kink in the cotton, and that is mesh seeing through on the other side. That is asking for hot spots. Vaporesso, if you ever watch this, you need to do some better quality control. That might not look like much and it might look just fine, but that is gonna cause a hot spot, which will cause your cotton to burn. It's just not a good idea to have any sort of coil with that. If you ever see that, take a coil back to wherever you got it. See if you can get a refund. It's not worth your hassle. You are going to get hot spots, dry hits, and burnt flavor. So that, that, that's just a little bit of update on the Cascade Baby SE tank for you. I'm not going to be vaping on it because like I said, I already gave my thoughts. It's okay. Kenny doesn't like it because there's so many things that are reverse threaded and normal threaded. He just doesn't like it. Nope. 
You heard it from the man himself. And he also doesn't like the top fill. Like, it's just annoying. You have to pull up and then try to swivel. It's just the most annoying it's top fill. It's not driver friendly. It is not driver friendly, which is a lot of reason why people use tanks nowadays, because they're driving around and they don't want to have to deal with the tank. Or they don't want to have to deal with dripping. All right, now that we've gone over the stuff in the box, let's go over the mod itself while you listen to Kenny working on things. All right, five clicks, turn it on, five clicks, turn it off. It is a dual 18650 battery. The actual catch for the door is right here. It is a very slippery door, but it is not bad. I like that they have a caution in here, as well as the battery caution inside the box. No ribbon, but it is a very, very tight fit in there. They got basically everything off of the sides of this mod that they could. It is magnetized. Slight movement, but nothing too horrible. It's not going to move around in your hand very much. And from the looks of it, 24s, maybe 25s are going to be the only thing you can fit on here. This is my drop, 24, so. But it is not a bad looking mod overall. You got three buttons select, so you got your time up here, date, stuff like that, Vaporesso. Press the fire button. And this is your wattage adjustment. I don't like the whole speedometer thing going on, but I know that there's some people who do enjoy it because it's a visual representation as well as the actual numbers itself. All your basic info up here, battery gauge, ohms that your coil is coming out to and seconds that you hit it, stuff like that. To get into your menu, you hold down the center button just like on a Yeehee chip, something like that, and you just scroll through. Mine's at variable wattage hard right now, normal, soft, curves. I still don't know what SP mode is. I don't think they have SP mode actually in the manual, and I know that a lot of reviewers had no idea what it did either, but here's variable voltage curve for voltage, and then here are your different metal settings right here, and then M1, M2, bypass, and your different settings. I'm actually gonna go into the settings because I wanna see if you can change the graphic user interface real quick. Click that, nope, wrong button. She blowing her nose in the middle of my review. Leave it to Sarah. There we go. Okay, you can adjust the time, the brightness, the puff counter theme color. Okay, so you cannot actually adjust the whole GUI, but you can change the colors, which I like that blue a lot more. Let's click the fire button, and that looks so much cleaner than it did before. But yeah, it's a real simple menu. Uh, micro USB down here for charging, which it does have, like I said, 2.5 amp quick charging. So you can charge it through there, and you'll get a little bit of juice out of there before it will honestly start heating up. I, I don't think this mod will, but I don't, like I said, recommend charging through the port. All right, let's take it back up top, show you some Vapor Production, and give you my final thoughts on this Polar Kit by Vaporesso. Let's go. And we are back up top with the Polar Kit by Vaporesso. Everybody say goodbye to Sarah. She's going off for a job interview. There's her I'm hand. Not she waved. Job interview yet. I'm trying to pick up clothes. She's going to get back. dressed, kind of like me. I'm looking to hella fly today. I'll be back. All right. Oh, Let's show you some vapor oh, production. Okay. This is 0.15 coils, dual coil, at 90 watts. Let's show you some vapor production on vapor or on uh, variable wattage hard. What are we vaping today? I am vaping couple different things. Right now I'm going to be vaping the Blueberry Cake by Glass. It is the, what line is this? This is the Basics series by Glass. It is very, very tasty. It tastes like shit out of everything that is not a tank, or that is not an RDA. I've tried it in an RTA, I've tried it in a tank, I've tried it in a couple different devices. It's just not very good. And then you put it on an RDA, I was really tired one morning and I accidentally dripped this instead. And I was like, well, crap, what am I going to do? It tastes amazing off of an RDA. Like, hella nummy. All right, so, Polar Kit. I love the interface on this. It is super simple. It has your basic information. And the menu system is super easy to go through. It's not that bad on the looks either. I like 
the overall look. There's some shiny and there's also some matte, so it's not a whole fingerprint magnet and a half. It just gets it everywhere occasionally and you can wipe it off real easy. But on the places where your fingers go the most, which is on the sides and the firing button, it's not a fingerprint magnet, which I like. Uh, the screen is nice and big. And overall, it just feels like a very solid device. It fits really well in the hand, no matter how you fire it. It's trigger fire or thumb fire. I like thumb fire like this, but it's just a really nice mod. The tank, however, quality control issues, and overall, I just did not, I was not a fan of the tank itself. When I first reviewed it, it is the exact same tank. It just has a different coil that doesn't change the entirety of my opinion on the tank itself. So overall, as a kit, what would I rate this? If it was just the mod, the mod would get an easy seven. We'll, we'll go seven. It's mid-range. It's nothing too fancy, but at the same time, it's it's a good mod. As a kit, I'm gonna have to drop the rating just a little bit to about a six. It's not the greatest kit. If you get good coils, the Cascade Baby SE tank can be good, but you have to get good coils. I don't know what the quality control issue is with Vaporesso and their coils, but that coil would have burnt and all the coils that I had burnt in my original review of the Cascade One Plus SE or whatever it was, that thing that I showed y'all a minute ago. So overall, the kit as it's by itself is gonna get a six. The whole rating dropped by a point because the tank is just not there. So if you enjoyed that, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me if I got anything wrong. Tell me if what I got right. Tell me if you liked the review. This has been another Vape Shop review with Kenny, because this is Kenny's collection. And we will see you guys next time on Reviews Like a Sir. Peace out, Girl Scout.